Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with All Outdoor. Today we're doing a first impressions video of United States Marine Corps ILBE Assault Pack. I've been watching these packs on eBay. Found one on auction and I picked, was able to get it for $5.50 with about $15 shipping. So for around a grand total of around $20, had it delivered to the house. It's got the back stiffener in it right there. It's got a Zipper. This is the first time that I have ever seen these IL or had my hands on these ILB packs. This is the first experience for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. Let's look at the side. You've got your webbing here for a canteen, some type of pouch or anything, but there's nothing, no webbing up here for attaching a knife or any other item up here at the top, nor is there any webbing here on this side. So it's just basically got your one set of webbing down here at the bottom, ammo pouch, first aid kit, canteen, whatever you want. Then it's got, some people may say, well, Kevin, you've got all this webbing back here on the back. And that's true. That is very true. The problem with putting the webbing and the pouches on the back is it moves the weight. If you put something heavy back here, it moves the weight away from your body. And the further it moves away from the body, the more you have to lean over to counteract that. It's got your zipper right here. The zipper seizes up on mine right there. No big deal. It's got this nice size pouch back here in the back to put stuff. You see it whenever you bring that pouch up. Bring it up. You're going to be stuffing gear inside of there. You've got a couple of inches that you can stuff, in, stuff gear inside there. See how far that comes up? Probably about two inches or so. So two inches by 18 inches. Multiply that together. You've got your cubic inches for that. Down the side here, you've got your bottom, then you've got your pouch right here for something else. And on this outside, you've got a couple of little open spots right here. Maybe for an antenna, water bladder, something like that to come through here. One of the things that I do not like about this pack, right off the bat, that I really do not like about it, is that there's no webbing here on the shoulder straps. And the shoulder straps are a little narrow, but they are, they do have some good padding on them. I mean, that is, that's got a pr plenty of flex to it. It's got some good padding, but I wish that there was some webbing here to attach, say, a pouch for a compass or a patch, a pouch for a bandage, something, just some type of pouch out here on this outside, just some type of webbing here where we could attach something, one of the buckles here broke which is no big deal i knew this pack was in fair condition whenever i bought it fair to poor condition whenever i bought it that's probably why i got it for five dollars and fifty cents and there's no webbing on the belt you got your waist belt here there's no webbing to attach something but you can attach a pouch or something that would go around the belt i'm gonna guess that's about two inches about two inches or so, but there's no webbing like here for you to attach anything, no webbing here for attach anything. And I really believe these packs were designed to be disposable. On the bottom of the pack, there are no, there is no webbing to attach anything like a sleep. Let's say you wanted to put your uh, sleeping pad here, or you want to attach a butt pack or something right here on the bottom. There's no webbing to attach anything on the bottom. We'll take and put some 550 cord and we'll cut that one off. We'll cut that off and I'm gonna make some 550 cord pulls put on those and they are marked YKK those are authentic YKK zippers which is a big plus let's say that okay you didn't want to put your sleeping pad on the bottom or let's say you wanted to put your sleeping pad on the bottom and a one-man tent on top there's no straps up here to put a one-man tent you'd have to put it down here on the bottom say across here and there's, I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing across the bottom to attach anything. There's nothing across the top of the pack to attach anything. My first impressions of the pack are not too good. Not too good. This would make a decent, like a long trip, long range, maybe a warm weather overnight pack of where I could take and put my water filter, my topographical maps, stuff, stuff that I'm going to be using on the store whenever I stop out here on this outside pouch canteen canteen the luck and then hammock um, poncho liner small blanket 
food, stove, and that's about it. If I was going on a warm weather, this remember this is just in first impressions, guys. I'm just throwing ideas out of what I see using this pack for in the coming months. Filming this in December 2017. Come March and April 2018, I'm going to be taking this out in the field and putting it through some trial runs. We're going to be comparing it to other packs, and we'll see more that goes on there. Well, guys and gals, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Very first impressions right out of the box. And I've been hiking and camping for, oh, 30, 35 years, somewhere in there. So I'm throwing these ideas out from, from past experience of what I'm going to be using this pack for. Hope you'd enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. When we'll we take this pack out on some hiking trips this coming spring, I'll be able to give you a more in-depth review then. It's just first impressions. I may uh, try to get another one. I may try to get another one. for five. If I could get another one for, say, 5 or $10, I'd get it. But there's no way that I'd pay more than $20 plus shipping for this type of pack. Not whenever it's missing the webbing here on the side. It's messing, missing the webbing. It's not that it's missing, it was just never installed. There's no webbing on the bottom. No webbing on the top. No webbing on the sides. Now, some of the army packs do. Some of the army packs do, but we'll be doing a review or a comparison of this Generation 2 ILBE pack to some of the army issue packs. Until then, I will talk to y'all later.